Hello, in this video I'm going to be teaching you why it is that we flip and multiply fractions when we're dividing them. Now when I was at school I was just told to do this and I never knew why, so I'll tell you why it works. So the first thing is we need to know three very basic things about fractions. So the first one is that if my denominator of my fraction is 1, so for example 5 over 1, the answer is just my numerator, so 5. And the reason for this is because this line in a fraction just means divided by. So if I've got five things, I divide them, I share them out between one person, they're going to get five things. And this works no matter what numbers we use. So 6 over 1 is equal to 6, or a over 1 is equal to a. The second rule we need to know is that if I've got the same numerator and denominator, so for example, 7 over 7, then my answer is 1 because seven things divided between seven people, they're each going to get one. And again, this works no matter which numbers we use. So, whoops, that's not right. Five over five is equal to one, and a over a is equal to one. So it doesn't matter which numbers we use, this is always true. And the final thing we need to know is that say we've got a fraction like two over three, and we multiply it by its reciprocal. Now its reciprocal is equal, it's just the flipped version of it, so three over two then that's equal to, well, 6 over 6, which is equal to 1. So if I've got a fraction, I multiply it by its reciprocal, then that is equal to 1. So now let's take a look at an example. Say I have 2 over 3 divided by, say, 7 over 2. Well, the way we've been taught to work this out is we do 2 over 3 multiplied by the reciprocal or the flipped version of the second fraction, so 2 over 7, and we get 4 over 21. Okay, and that way works, but why? Well, let's write this slightly differently. So we've got 2 over 3 divided by 7 over 2. And we could actually write this like so. We could write it as 2 over 3 all divided by 7 over 2. So we've written it as one big fraction, which we can do, that's fine. But it is a bit ugly. Okay, this is quite an ugly fraction. So what we could say is, well, how could we turn it into just one fraction? And we could do that by making the denominator equal to one, okay? Because if it's the denominator is one, the answer is just the numerator. But how could I do that? Well, I could do it by multiplying the denominator by two over seven, the reciprocal, right? But that would then change the value of the total fraction and I wanna keep it the same. So I could keep it the same by multiplying it by one. But the way I could do that while still changing the denominator is multiplying it by 2 over 7 over 2 over 7, okay? Because the numerator is equal to the denominator, so I'm multiplying it by 1, but I'm also going to be multiplying the denominator by its reciprocal this way. So let's see what we get when we do that. We're going to get 2 over 3 multiplied by 2 over 7, all divided by 7 over 2 multiplied by 2 over 7. And it, I'll leave the numerator for now, but we get 2 over 3 times 2 over 7. And that's all divided by, well, 7 times 2 is 14, divided by 2 times 7, which is 14. And this now goes to 1. So we're left with 2 over 3 times by 2 over 7. And you can see these two things are equal. And that's why we can just flip and multiply when we're dividing fractions. If you want to show it for more like a general case, so where we're not using numbers, we can. So we could say, say I had a over b divided by b over uh, c over d. Well, that's going to be equal to a over b all divided by c over d. And we can do the same thing again. Multiply the top and bottom by the reciprocal of the denominator. So d over c divided by d over c. And we're left with a over b multiplied by d over c all divided by c over d multiplied by d over c, which is equal to, well, a over b multiplied by d over c, all divided by c, d over d, c, and you'll see these cancel out, and we're left with one, so the answer is just the numerator. Hopefully that makes sense. Uh, I think this example here with the numbers probably makes more sense, to be honest. But yeah, thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel for more stuff like this. If you just want to see like worked exam question kind of things, go over to my TikTok. Thanks for watching.